Okie dokie. So, I'm Holly. Dan's out there welding another frame. We made the crazy decision. Well, he made the decision. He saw this random rural fire truck on sale on Gumtree or Facebook. And down in rural New South Wales. Now, this was just before all the crazy lockdowns happened um, earlier this year. Um, and Dan was actually looking for a crane for one of our plumbing trucks. And he found this great old big red fire truck that had a crane on it. So, first things first, he organized the next day to drive to New South Wales with someone to go have a look and pretty much was gonna buy it on the spot, uh, which he did. And yeah, he said we could turn it into this cool, you know, living in caravan four by four truck that we could use to drive around and travel. We had been thinking about getting a second four wheel drive so we could go camping um, and, you know, splurge out for a caravan and have one person tow the boat and the other person tow the caravan. But that's a lot of effort and I hate driving. So, and towing. Uh, and caravans at the moment are crazy expensive with all the COVID tax going on. So we have always lived our life by trying to not borrow money for things. So, um, you know, from a young age, we saved really hard for our first toy. And essentially every time we want a new toy, we'll sell an existing toy. So we sold our old caravan to buy the boat. Um, and then, yeah, looking at caravans again, caravans that were five years older than the one we had sold were selling for more than we'd even sold it for a couple of years ago. So there was no way I was paying for a caravan that cost thousands more than the one we had and was older, um, especially because we would have had to borrow money for it. So what we did in the end is we bought this truck and uh, we had just enough money in the bank to buy it outright. And then when Dan got it back, he decided the crane was probably bigger than he needed anyway. So uh, we sold the crane and that has gone to fund back into the truck. So at the moment, you know, it's, it's going to cost a lot in the long run, but for what it will be able to do and building it and setting up how we want it, um, it's definitely going to be worth it in the long run. Yeah, we got really lucky with a really well-priced truck, so um, it's a bit easier to justify making sure we have, you know, the good quality things in here, like the plumbing, the water tanks, um, because water and power when you're traveling, as we know from previous years traveling just in a Land Cruiser, water and power you can't go without. And there's nothing worse than getting two days in and having your electricity system fail and have to try and buddy out with mates to put your food in their fridges and freezers which we've had to do in the past we're lucky we travel in groups we have great friends but no one wants to be doing that on a regular basis so we are going to make sure this truck is perfecto from the start and yeah i can't wait to show our first voyage with you guys <laughs> 